This week on Tales from a Passport, our guests want to do some fishing. So we meet up with Captain Rob with Mixed Bag Sports Fishing to spend some time on the Southern Trench. Then, once the sun goes down, Denver, Iden, Matthew, and Connor drop a fishing line off the back of the boat and try to catch themselves a trophy tarpon. It's not worth the luck. Due to COVID, I wasn't able to go back home and visit my friends halfway through the trip like we had originally planned. So having friends come out at the end of our trip was amazing. I have missed all my friends so much and was so excited to see them when they came down. The night before, I was up all night because of how excited I was. When they finally got to the islands, we got them all packed in and familiar with the boat and immediately started fishing. We would fish sunrise to sunset and have a blast. If we weren't fishing, we were swimming and trying to spearfish. Fishing with mixed bag was a lot of fun. We would wake up early to get out to the spot on time and fish all day. Normally we would spend our first part of our trip trolling and hoping to catch some mahi, wahoo, or some tuna. Rob, the owner of Mixed Bag, taught me how to run the lines and get everything set up. You can probably go rally cap, huh? Let's go rally cap. This time we went out with some of my friends from home. Connor, Matthew, and Aiden. Matthew was first up and caught himself a nice mop. After trolling around for a while, we decided to go over a reef and pick up a bait ball, which is when you use bait to draw larger fish to the surface. After that, we decided to do some drops for some snapper, grouper, and whatever else bites. And majority of the time we'd lose our fish to sharks. By the time we got the fish to the boat, all that would be left was the head. The sharks took the rest for themselves. Overall, I highly recommend Mixed Bag for fishing. What do dirty dishes and late night trophy fishing have to do with each other? All right, let's rally the team, bring it in. <laughs> well, when Aiden and the boys were on board, there was a rule. The boys were able to stay up as late as they wanted and fish as much as they wanted. I'm so far ahead of your game, you don't even know. But only after those dirty dishes from dinner were cleaned and put away. Every night they fished and every night they cleaned. As Aiden says, teamwork, it makes a dream work and when it's teamwork, it doesn't seem work. By the time KP duty was wrapping up, it was well after sailor's midnight which meant I was on my way to bed. As I lay there with my eyes closed, all I could hear was <laughs> muffling its way through the thin fiberglass walls that separated the cabins from the exterior of the boat. I would almost be asleep and then I'd hear <laughs> again and again. As the excitement grew, so did the frequency and the pitch of these muffled voices. <laughs> Finally, the curiosity that killed the cat managed to get me out of bed to see what all the commotion was about. The boys always had something on the line, whether it was a shark, a jack, or a snapper. However, the most sought after fish was also the hardest to catch. 
The tarpon weigh between 50 and 60 pounds, but the lure used to catch this monster fish was nothing but a small crappie jig. This just meant to catch a tarpon took patience, finesse, and even a little bit of luck. They opted for fishing instead of sleep, and their perseverance, it paid off. By the end of their visit, they had all landed at least one trophy tarpon. They worked hard, they played hard, they laughed hard, they fished hard. And when it finally came time for sleep, they slept hard too. <laughs> Needless to say, I think they enjoyed boat life. But what's not to love? Yeah. <laughs>